Okay, in this video, we're going to show you the proper way to connect a remote sense to a power supply. And before we get started, it's important to note what is remote sense really for? And remote sense is really a way for the power supply to regulate the load at the load point instead of the power supply point. And what we mean by that is if we look at the power supply output right here, the power supply will regulate here locally at the terminals if the remote sense leads are tied to the terminals because that's the point of regulation. But in certain environments where you have very long load lines and the power supply is kind of a remote powering source to the load, there may be a line drop from the power supply to the actual load. And in those cases, what we want to do is actually tie the remote sense lines to the load itself. Now, there are some techniques to do this in the lab because there's some good design practices when you're uh, tying a remote sense line. So let's get to it and I'll show you uh, a couple of those steps. When you take the power supply out of the box for the first time, you'll need to check the remote sense lines and make sure that they're connected properly on the power supply. And you'll notice here that the remote sense lines, by referencing the manual and knowing exactly what the remote sense lines are, we'll notice that they are actually connected on to the uh, output terminals. And what this indicates is that the power supply is now sensing the voltage across the terminals. If for some reason these sense line connections were missing, the power supply may actually go into an over voltage condition because there will be nothing to sense and the power supply immediately thinks that it needs to pump more voltage and it will eventually go into over voltage shutdown and it will look like a failure. So it's very important that if you do have a remote sense option on a power supply, you're checking for these connections before you turn it on. The next thing to do is if we want to uh, actually test the power supply in an environment where we want to have a remote sense line, then we need to make sure that we're preparing the remote sense lines properly. Now today what we have here is a couple of wires that we would use as remote sense wires. These wires don't have to be uh, very heavy and gauge. And the reason for that is they're really not carrying a lot of current. They're just carrying some sense current back to the control circuit of the power supply. Now it's important to note that since these are long wires not carrying a lot of current, they do tend to pick up noise from other points of the system. And in order to prepare a remote sense line properly, what we're going to do is twist these. Now in a lab environment, we could take the time to do it by hand, but one of the things that we can use is a standard drill, and we could open the drill up and just put the wires inside, close the drill just to a certain point, and then hold it taut, and, and we can have a twisted pair. Now why twisted pair? By twisting these wires, we actually are creating some a line capacitance, which is going to filter some of this noise naturally just by the capacitance of the wire alone. So by doing this, that will eliminate some of the noise susceptibility that we will have in the system. Now, in order to connect it, what we would actually now do is remove the connector from the remote sense line connection and then have another connector that would plug in to the actual remote sense lines on the one side, and then on the other side at the load, these would be connected to the load point. And this is going to ensure that you have the proper regulation at the load so that you can have the system running more effectively and efficiently. 